Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's what's going on? What do you got going in your garden? What do you got going in your life? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. It'll be fun. Speaking of the comments, we got a lot of good questions in the comments. We're gonna have to get to them over the next couple days. We're gonna do one today, one tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But what it's about is yesterday's show. I don't know if you watched yesterday's show. If you didn't, you should probably go back and check that one out because this applies to that and it was a pretty good show. Uh, but short strokes of it, what it was about was uh, doing a slurry test on you know, plants like Stanley here. Why you do a slurry test instead of doing a runoff test. But uh, at the end of the video and even at the start, I think I said, hey, let's get into slurry tests. Let's start talking about them more in depth. Why you do them, how you do them, answering questions, and then uh, getting into when you do them as far as the, the, plants, the, the plants life cycle. So we talked about that and you all had some good questions. And so we're just gonna go through them. Let's just get into them. So the first one is from uh, Stephen Neal. Hey Stephen, how you doing? He uh, says, uh, what's better for a slurry test? Dry or wet soil? Wasn't sure if it mattered since you're just letting the soil soak in water anyway. And um, I think it does matter a little bit because the soil, if it's super wet, you may not get the, uh, you know, the, the absorption. You may not get a good reading. And if it's super dry, you may not get a good reading. And also, and also you're not gonna get that soil as uh, moistened up as quickly as you should. So your timing may be off with a slurry test. but that's the short answer. And honestly, I think the short answer kind of obscures or maybe uh, doesn't give us a good view of the longer answer, which I think is far more important. And the longer answer, um, I don't know exactly how to explain this. I'm just gonna try and talk and get through it with you. But when you're doing a slurry test, the point of the slurry test is to find out how much your plant eats of one feeding. So you feed your plant, you go through the whole cycle, and before you're just about to feed again, you check your slurry and you see, hey, did it eat up everything I gave it? Is there, you know, 100, 200 ppm in there? Is it hungry again? Is it needing more food? Maybe I should feed it more, or is it like five, six, seven, 800, 900? Do I got some issues there where I'm giving it too much food and I gotta back off? So that's what you're trying to figure out. And when you're trying to figure that out, you need to be doing it on a feeding schedule and you need to be on a good feeding schedule. So what I would say is, well, you know, you probably want some more soil just for technical reasons with your slurry test. More importantly, if you get in there and your soil is waterlogged, you're watering too often or too much and you need to back off that. And so a slurry test is not gonna tell you as much as you need to know and really isn't an important issue at this point as much as so as you need to get this plant under control with that. And you probably need to wait a little while, let it go through some of that water before you do it. And likewise, if your plant's too dry, you probably should be giving it more water or watering it more often. So while I would say that, you know, certainly just saying the generic answer of some moist soil for doing a slurry test is the best way to get consistent results within the system that we've all built, more importantly than that is that we're trying to figure out how much to feed our plant and what to feed our plant and get some sort of system down so we can have a happy, healthy plant and a happy, healthy life. So be thinking about that. And uh, I guess that's it for today. I'll do another question on this tomorrow. We'll get through some of those questions. Then we're gonna actually do how to do a slurry test. And then I got some good stuff for you on when to do slurry tests and the life cycle of the plant, how often that sort of thing. But that's it for today. I'm gonna keep it short. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. We'll answer some more questions. It's going to be great. Tune in.